So what happened on Friday, January 20th? Well, there's a lot of very important business headlines that we should discuss and highlight. The first thing, obviously, is existing home sales. We have talked about that on this channel, and frankly, many of us has guessed what would be the actual median home price. Well, it came in. It came in at $4.02 million, uh, down 34% year-on-year, down 1.5% month-on-month. These are obviously transactions. Uh, I will also admit that I was wrong. I thought the sales would come in sub $4 million. Uh, we were close, uh, but not quite sub $4 million. Uh, total home sales were down 17.8% year-on-year. Uh, interestingly, that median home price uh, for the year on year was now up 2.3%. Again, that's December to December. Lawrence Yoon, chief economist, says the sales are about half the country are discounting or going under uh, are falling, where the other half is still rising. A couple of interesting stats buried inside the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, report is days on market went up to 20, 26 days from 24 cash buyers went up to 28 from 23 uh, and then finally sales are falling fastest in the luxury market folks luxury homes are being sold at 45 percent less so down big time i believe one of the things that is being missed in the discussion in the housing market is we ended the year with 970,000 homes again sub 1 million that is near a record low. I believe record low was 880,000. However, what I think is happening is that 970,000 homes has a disproportionate amount of luxury homes. Luxury homes, uh, again, defined by me as 2X the median. Again, every market is different. Uh, seeming to lag days on market 100, big price drops. So again, I think, I think the market's, in, frankly, in a worse shape then the numbers appear. Not that 970,000 is a good thing, but if 970,000 and you subtract 200,000, which is the luxury market, you're really at 770. So I think it is a story that's even worse than it looks. Other things that happened on Friday is Netflix reported on Thursday evening, massive subbeat, but horrible earnings miss. Uh, it's interesting to see uh, just a massive subscriber beat. Uh, Facebook or Meta is dumping 500,000 square feet or nearly 500,000 square feet in San Francisco. Again, San Francisco office space is in trouble. I think somebody will eventually make a lot of money in San Francisco, uh, but we've got to get to the bottom. And uh, having another 500,000 square feet of office empty, not a good thing. Nordstrom's reported week holiday sales, uh, lots of markdowns. Again, this is the well-to-do household cutting back, uh, retreating. Uh, the U.S. government officially hit their debt limit on Thursday. Uh, this could be a problem. Uh, last time our uh, government played with the debt limit, our credit rating was dropped. Uh, I do not hold out uh, hope. Uh, I think the uh, government is as um, toxic as I've ever seen. Uh, so this could be a problem. It's estimated that emergency measures will take us uh, until June 5th. So we probably won't get code red until the middle of May. Just a bunch of lip talking and whatnot. Um, but again, this will be a problem uh, that we discuss a lot come the summer. Lael Brainerd uh, from the Fed president, second in charge, uh, says that the Fed must be sufficiently restrictive. Uh, and highlights that wage inflation actually might be overblown. I thought that was very interesting. Lots of the Fed presidents, myself included, have talked about wage inflation being a problem, being the hard part to um, kind of get down later in the year. And Leo Brainerd is actually saying, you know what? Our concerns might be overblown. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Uh, so on this channel, we've talked about watches and cars being a problem. Now it looks like the resale of luxury handbags, Gucci, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, are also collapsing. Uh, so very uh, interesting to see stimulus ballers uh, selling things to raise cash. December housing starts, right? We're down 1.4% month on month. 
down 21.8% year on year. Building permits were down 1.6% month on month or 29% year on year. However, home builder confidence, kind of a leading indicator, actually rose. Uh, on Friday, we heard from Google that they were going to lay off 12,000 employees. Uh, again, white collar recession happening right in front of us. Uh, another crypto player goes boom or goes bankrupt. Uh, Genesis, who is a crypto lender, filed for bankruptcy protection uh, on Friday as well. So, folks, that's what I have. No particular order for Friday readings. I will record my Saturday business highlights next. Like, subscribe, comment. We normally do the daily financial news live. Uh, we do a live session Sunday through Thursday, and then I make up Friday and Saturday, which are days I take for myself and my family here, uh, and we record them and just push them out. So have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.